Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and we're straight into it here with the Does Play 4v4 Summer Series. Five times XP Season 1 final here of the Summer Series. For those who don't know how the uh, Pro Series is working, I guess, this year, we're going to have multiple seasons within each series, and then at the end of each uh, series, Summer Series, Spring Series, Winter Series, we're going to be having um, the points reset. So we'll be a little bit different to what we've uh, seen in the past. This is the Season 1 final in the Summer Season, or the Summer Series, sorry. And uh, the Summer Series will be uh, coming to um, Season 2 as of uh, very after this uh, after this final. But we're getting into this match. This one is going to be the team of Ronald McDonald on the left up against the team of S&D Gods on the right. As we have a look at the bracket, Ronald McDonald actually came in to this uh, competition, Seed 1, Enable, Bryce, Nero, and Gunzel. They came in with the best seed. S&D Gods came in with 8th seed. And interestingly enough, the second seed, Hey There, got knocked out by Ronald McDonald in the last game of the loser's bracket, uh, Round 3. So, very interesting. But if we have a look at those bands that we've just seen on the screen... Um, M8 band, uh, I think we saw a Vespa band, we saw a Stock band, we saw a Man of War band, um, a, just a lot of bands across the board, a lot of guns taken out of it, um, which is interesting to see exactly uh, how those teams are going to play out and what they're going to do with their classes. Obviously, a couple of strong ARs taken out, uh, I believe a couple of strong... Uh, SMGs and possibly a few attachments as well. So, will be interesting to see there. Also, we have Kinetic Armor, Heat Wave, and Gravity Spikes on the team on the left. Ronald McDonald, S&D Gods have gone with Scythe Purifier, Kinetic Armor, and Vision Pulse. Scythe also being picked up there by Guns or Liam. So, we'll wait for these players to create their classes, but I'm interested. We don't see any Gravity Spikes on the team on the right. We see a Vision Pulse instead. That's uh, that's one of the differences. Also, both teams have a fire break, but one's got a heat wave, one's got a purifier. So that heat wave uh, will be interesting to see how they use it, especially in that mid hard point. If you can get a heat wave out in there while the other team's all there, and you can just clean up, then that is going to be a lot of points over to your team. Same with the purifier. If you get into those second and uh, final hard points as well, those two fairly in close. If you can get in there with the uh, with the flamethrower, then you can do a lot of damage there on that one so we'll see how uh, how these teams are going to go as we know waiting here for the created class new ban and protect system working well um, for those who don't know uh, I'm Block Dog you will be your who will be I'll be your cast up for today and hopefully uh, we can see some uh, Pretty intense matches. There's been some good matches already today. We had uh, off stream, obviously. This is the first game on stream for the day. We're going to be going through from this point, losers round four, into the loser bracket final, and then onto the grand final. So three full matches being streamed today. And uh, we'll be interesting to see how the four teams that we're going to see today go with their games. We've uh, gone through the bracket. Nine teams signed up today. We had S&D Gods play pickups. 3-0 straight away. Knocked the pickups into the losers bracket. And they got their competition off with a good start. But last time these two teams played, it was a 3-0. Ronald McDonald was able to take that one out there in round two. So they have played each other before. Um, a lot of 3-0s there in round two. But round three... We saw the first seed go up against fourth seed. We are the best versus Ronald McDonald, which is something we could see again later. Um, it was a 3-2 to the team of We Are The Best, knocking Ronald McDonald into the loser's bracket. Then we've got uh, Smash Stills beating TD in a 3-2 series as well in that round three matchup. And then the, uh, the semi-final, or the winner's bracket final, a 3-0 over to We Are The Best. So, playing extremely well. That top half of the bracket looked to be a little bit stronger than the bottom half. Uh, but, who knows? We'll uh, we'll see how these teams are going to go. Yeah, as we get into this first match, it will be EVAC Hardpoint. And I'm keen to see how both teams are going to go with this one. Secure the objectives. 
So straight into the game, and we'll jump on board with Bryce and see what he's going to be able to do for his team. Just dropping down, actually taking some damage from the fall. Just going to throw out that trophy system to make sure no nades are going to come in. He's going to find two. Guns of Liam's also going to find one, and he's just going to back off down towards this platform. Get out of there, allow his teammates to pick up those kills for themselves. 4-0 at the moment, the score, Bryce. Eh? Also able to get a headshot to make his score 3-0 in terms of kills. Make that 4-0 as he picks up another kill. And he's got the counter UAV there ready for use. But he's just going to wait here in mid. It looks like Guns of Liam's going to be the one to try and contest here. He goes down and Nero is going to have to try and flank here. He's got to try and push in and get these kills. Bryce is holding the hard point well, but the players are spawning up on that side. That's where the next hard point will be. Nero holding the spawns at the moment, but I think he probably should be pushing up a little bit. But Guns of Liam has pushed up the stairs without con being contested which is very very surprising he did go down there but enable uh, is here now as he goes down Nero drops as well Guns of Liam contesting in Bryce still just holding those spawns as he will find one and fall off the map as uh, Shibe Carbon and Shibe again going to pick up that one let's jump over to the other team and see what they can do Rhino he's going to be running that HVK after we saw the uh, MA and the Man of War get taken away this is obviously his third choice in terms of uh or may not be his third choice, but it's uh, one that he's been forced onto anyway. Bacon Eggs being able to pick up a couple of kills here. Rhino just sitting at the back. Trophy system comes out. Two players contest. And wasn't able to take that one down. They take back control of the hill. S&D God's trying to hold on to this one. Bacon and Eggs. Let's see what he can do. Pushing down as he does go down. Gets taken. As now it looks like Carbon is actually going to be able to hold on to this next hill at the start. Trophy System is going to be able to save him there. There is a player flanking around the back. This is Guns of Liam. He just pokes out, doesn't see anyone yet. He's trying to just get the spawns for his team, but he hasn't been spotted by the other team, but he, he hasn't spotted anyone either. As he comes around the corner, there's two players there, and he goes down. Carbon with a nice kill there. Let's jump on board with him as he picks up another kill. Shibe also taking down Nero. Carbon just trying to survive at the moment, just regenning some health. He's almost to his uh, guardian. That is, as he uh, will only need 200 more points. That will be a kill and an assist. We'll get him there as he's trying to find that kill there. 125, and now he's just got to get one more kill, but he goes down. Not quite getting to the guardian that he needs. And shots go out. HVK is going to be able to pick up one kill there for Rhino, but... He gets dropped afterwards. Bacon and Eggs able to pick up one on the cross, but the second one was just behind. And he wasn't able to spot him in time. Rhino getting dropped on the hill, but it will be the team of S&D Gods that have taken the lead now as Carbon will be able to pick up that kill. He's now rotating across, throwing those trophy systems down early, but as he threw it, there's a player that contested round and did take him down. Jumping in the water now is Guns or Liam. He will be able to pick up one, but player drops in on top of him and takes him down. Rhino drops in on Bryce as well. He's going to be able to pick up that kill. And now he's just... Uh, Waiting and lurking in the water. He wants to try and pick up these kills, but he was spotted as he goes down. Shibe goes in. There's a sentry there, and they're not going to be able to shut that one down just yet. So that sentry is going to do a heap of work. Let's jump on board with Rhino again. Eight and nine at the moment. Got the HVK. We'll see what he does with his time here. As he will see one, be able to pick up the neighbor. Now he's going to push back across towards the stairs. Can he find this kill? As he knows there is a sentry there in the hill as he slides across. Just going to try and keep cover from it and keep this one contested at this stage. But he does get contested from behind and will get dropped. So 96 to 87, not as bad as it could have been considering there was a sentry in that hill for the entirety of the uh, of the hill time so surprising they're not as far behind they were able to just keep it contested the shock charge just does get thrown out by a bacon and he will be able to just survive at the moment before getting dropped as he tried to take that top control there in mid rhino probably will be looking to do the same thing after pushing across from this right side there's gonna be a player to his right and he actually gets taken down from long range that is going to be guns or liam let's jump on board with him and see what he is going to be running here the icr with the BOA site and uh, picking kills up left, right and centre at the moment. 8 and 13 though, he's on a 3 streak. So he definitely has stepped up his game as he's just backing off now trying to get these spawns for his team. As he does go down though, 40 points is the difference. 
And Nero just trying to push up, will get dropped. And it looks like Rhino had control there, but did get taken down. Shive is going to be able to push in and just hold this one for the moment as the rotation does come out now. So 40 points of difference on the rotation. They have control of the hill here, the team of S&D Gods, and they're just trying to find exactly what they want to do with the... Uh, with the control of the map that they have, do they want to try and push this one out, force the other team spawning back, or do they want to just try and hold on and just stay in close to each other? Didn't work, though. They got taken down, and Rhino just working his way across the walls here. Does have that HVK still. There will be a player on the stairs as the shock charge did get pulled out. The VMP picked up. We'll be able to pick up one. Got long barrel on this one as he's trying to find the kill. Waiting for them to poke. Two players poke at the same time. And they both go down as Bacon and Eggs will get dropped as he tries to contest from the stairs. And a 46 point difference now with 7 seconds left on this rotation. Shy will be able to pick up Gunzel there as the behind the player is going to be able to shut him down there. That was Bryce. Let's jump on board with Enable. See what he can do. Is He's going to try and find these kills. And the Vision Pulse comes out, allowing them to work out exactly where the players are set up. So they can try and just pre-fire these corners. As Bryce does poke up, does get taken down. Nero also dropped as Gunzel Liam comes in with the... Scythe picking up one as well as a teammate, but will be able to pick up one. Find second player. Get some tags. Not going to be able to find the kill, though, as he backs off. Has that ICR in hands. Now got the Elkar as the secondary. So we'll just be looking for these kills as the players are going to be coming out of mid. Does find one. Knows there's one to his right. Gets the Elkar out to try and contest. That player has backed off and been taken down. So I'll jump on board with Bryce now. He is currently in the hill, or around the hill at least, as he's taking down a couple of kills, and it's a 90-point difference now between the two teams. There's still 3 minutes 10, so there's plenty of time for the team of S&D Gods to come out of this one. But it just doesn't seem like uh, they're able to at this stage. So Rhino trying to turn on that player with the HVK. We'll be able to find that kill there on a naval. Nice turn as Carbon now pushing in towards this hill. There will be a player in there somewhere, but he wasn't able to find him. Back in Eggs does pick up that kill. Scheib also gets that one as Carbon gets the assist. Puts on the kinetic armor that will hopefully keep him alive in this hill for a little while. As Nero is going to be able to find one, and Abel gets another, and Gunzel Liam will pick up a third. So that's a three down there. Rhino trying to contest into the hard point. Wasn't able to. Only 15 points now do the team of Ronald McDonald need to pick up this game, as we'll find Bryce just poking out. Does have the lightning strike ready. As he's going to put that one down, but doesn't find any kills as Bryce just sitting on top of this hard point. As his team will pick up the final points needed to clean up this game and we'll see the final kill cam here by Enable as he turns around finds shy picks up that kill and gets the final points as it looks like Ronald McDonald will be the team to pick up the victory So that's a 1-0 in this series already. For those who uh, haven't really kept up with the comp, just tuning in right now, Ronald McDonald played S&D Gods earlier in the day. It was a 3-0 to the team of Ronald McDonald. S&D Gods, they need to step up their game if they want to take this competition any further past the losers round four. They have to win this match. It's the best of five, though. They're 1-0 down now, and we'll see whether they can come back in this one. But first, we are... Going to go to a quick break, guys, so don't go anywhere because an S&D will be coming up here between Ronald McDonald and S&D Gods, and we'll see whether the S&D Gods can live up to their name there in that search and destroy.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is map number two here in the loser's bracket, round four. Oh, but it does play 4v4 Pro Series, five times XP final in the Summer Series. This is season one, and the total prize pool for today will be $400. We will see how these teams are going to be trying to play this one, and it looks like... Uh, player has disconnected from the lobby which is not what we want but getting into the banner protect this is search and destroy and we'll see uh, bacon take out the uh, cold blooded it says shibe has banned something but it doesn't seem to show up um, at all Nero has decided not to uh, ban anything as of yet just maybe discussing with his team what to get rid of gonna Protect the M8 though. Make sure that they have the ability to uh, use that weapon as much as they can. The Rhino is going to take away the Dredge. And we'll see what Bryce is going to decide to do. It looks like Enable's actually going to uh, join back, but he's on the wrong team, which is not what we want to see. We'll see what Bryce can do. Here he's going to uh, take out Rapid Fire, which is something we saw last game as well. Carbon and Gunzel now, the two left to ban, and we will have six ban and protects rather than eight this game, as one player did time out, one player decided not to uh, ban or protect anything, just leaving everything open. Six cents is going to be taken away by Gunzel Liam, and now we'll see Carbon take away the Mana Wall, which we, uh, which we saw taken away last game as well. Now the Specialist Draft as we'll uh, see what these teams are going to decide to choose. We've got Rejack there for Nero. We'll find out what uh, Bacon is going to decide, along with Bryce, as they are going to be choosing. Active Camo going to be picked up, along with the Heat Wave. As we just wait for... Scheib and the guns are Liam to pick up their specialist. Glitch is going to be picked up, which uh, has been used fairly effectively in a lot of S&Ds. If you can get in, get that plant glitch out and get back to a spot um, where you can protect that bomb site, especially if you know someone's watching you plant, um, can be very, very effective. Reject being picked up by Nero. If he, uh, if he does go down, he can make sure he gets back into the round straight away. Kinetic Armor also picked up by... Uh, by Carbon there, maybe going in to plant that bomb, protecting himself, or even defend it, contesting a room. Psychosis there for Rhino, as we've seen that used. Glitch also picked up over on the other side. And Active Camo will be an interesting one to see how those rushes are going to work with that, whether he can get through behind the enemy and uh, pick up a few kills as the players are. Just editing up their creator classes and... Trying to find out, or trying to work out exactly what they want to use here going into this match. So, game starting in a couple of seconds. We'll hopefully get the last player back in. I believe it was Enable that disconnected from the game. Hopefully, he can join back in onto the correct team and we can get this game going and don't have to uh, reset this lobby. And it looks like the uh, the host will end the game and we'll uh, get this one restarted with all players into the game. It's, uh, it's all good. So we'll hopefully see uh, the players get through their banner protects a little bit quicker. We'll see if uh, anything changes. Obviously we saw an M8 protect. We saw a, 
uh, man wall ban. We saw rapid fire being taken out. Um, we, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see whether they change, whether the, one of the teams is going to try and ban out M8 as quickly as possible, or whether they're going to uh, go for a protect of a certain weapon or attachment that may have been banned out, like the Man of War or the Rapid Fire. We will have to find out, though, as uh, the lobby will get reset. And we'll just go to a quick commercial break while the players get back and get this lobby sorted. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're into it in six cents, getting banned out straight away. This is map number two. We've restarted it. All, f all eight players are in the game and are ready to go with their ban and protects. And we're seeing fairly much what we see, what we saw last time. Six cents and cold blooded taken out. M8 being uh, protected. High caliber taken out this time. Dredge also taken out. Interesting if we don't see a man of war ban that was banned. In the last match, it was banned in the last band of protect before we had to end the lobby. There it is. Gets taken out. The trip mine was banned as well, making sure no one can just watch flanks with the trip mine. And the rapid fire being taken away as we saw in the last two band of protects as well. For those who don't know, this is the Does Play 4v4 Summer Series. Five times XP Season 1 Finals. And we will see how... These uh, these players are going to go with their specialist drafts. We saw active camo glitch psychosis. No change there on the side of the left. We saw overdrive vision pulse from Bryce, which is a change. I believe he did go glitch last time. Nero picked up the rejack, and we'll see if Enable is going to pick up that glitch. The kinetic armor picked up by Carbon, and the heat wave actually taken by Enable. So a little bit of a change on the side of Ronald McDonald team on the right. Vision Pulse being picked up this time. He did pick up Glitch in, in the last Band and Protect, but they've decided to go Overdrive and Vision Pulse. 
Psychosis, Active Camo Glitch, Kinetic Armor, all of those on the side of S&D Gods. Very, very good picks, I think, in terms of uh, on the attacking side. They can push in, glitch away if they you know get themselves in trouble trying to push a room. Same with Psychosis. They can bait the, player, the players on defense into shooting, giving away their position. Kinetic Armor, just contesting a room, putting the bomb down, protecting yourself. And Active Camo, obviously, just sneaking through the defense. Um, really effective. So I think very aggressive. A lot of attacking rounds are going to be based on how well the team of S&D Gods use their uh, specialists on the other side. We see Overdrive obviously can be used as a rush, also can be used as the counter rush. The Vision Pulse um, can also be used on that defensive side to see where the players are going on that defensive side. Rejack, we all know what Rejack's going to be able to do for a team. You know, if they, they lose one early, they get back into the game, it's still a 4v4 in the heat wave, just to clear out a room when trying to maybe defuse that bomb is going to be extremely important, so we'll wait for these players to edit their creator class, we'll see how they are going to set up, we've seen a Man of War ban yet again, so I don't think we're going to see that too much throughout the entire series, obviously to get a recent buff, so is fairly strong um, at this stage, um, so the team's not wanting either um, AR to get their hands on it. M8 was protected, has been given a little bit of a nerf in recent patches, but still a fairly strong weapon. So, you know, can be used to good effect of this, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw an ICR and a HVK come out, even a Shiva, that, that sort of stuff can be pulled out and probably compete with an M8. Um, now that the M8 has been nerfed that little bit, the Man of War definitely the standout AR at this stage. So, getting into the game, we'll see how these teams are going to play it here on Redwood. All eight players in the game, will hopefully they spawn in as quickly as possible. We'll jump on the attacking team and see what they're going to do. A sniper here from Shibe, the SVG100. We'll see what he's going to be able to do with that one. He's also got the shock charges. And he's going to pick up the uh, the bomb as well. So Elkar Sniper with bomb at this stage. Carbon looks like he's got that M8 and just going to watch that bridge. Just checking out mid. Does see one. Misses the shot and enables actually going to be able to pick up one. And pick up the second kill there as uh, now it looks like Gunzel's actually going to be pushing up very, very hard. Bacon's just going to be sitting there. Gets tagged with a nade. Player will contest him from the right. And he does get taken down. Rhino is there on bomb. He gets dropped. And Nero picks up a double kill for himself in the first round going straight. Over to the team of uh, Ronald McDonald. Switching operation ready point. So a 1 0 very early on in that round. SD gods getting taken down, and Ronald McDonald have that point on the board already from both the last map and the last round as well. 1 0 up in both fronts. We'll see what Nero's going to do here. He's got the Vespa out. Has got Rejack, but doesn't have an available just yet. Just working his way across towards the bomb to get on the head glitch. As he does get tagged up there, but was able to survive that explosion. Bryce looks like he wants to try and plant this bomb after getting that kill. We'll be able to get that one down, and Nero doesn't look like he wants to try and push this one. Just going to cook that nade, put the nade in, and Bryce was able to just get away there as a player. Did try and contest him from the front. Will there be someone watching this side? It will be Guns or Liam. He picks up one player contest, and he gets taken down. That was Rhino, who, uh, sorry, Carbon, who picked up that kill. Let's jump on board with him, see what he can do with this M8 as he's working his way across mid. Did he see that player behind the tree stump? Didn't seem like he did, and Shibe also going to go down. Bryce. Just there, sitting in mid with the Vespa doing work. And we'll see. Picks up one, turns. The shot was missed with the sniper. And uh, that was an easy kill in the end for him. So extended mag grip, quick draw on that Vespa. Working well. And a 2-0. S&D gods not looking as strong as they probably could. We'll see. How they're going to go with this one. Uh, as a player has lagged out for them yet again. That was a Nable. So he is out of here. But Bryce also got that RCXD. So that can definitely even up the 
the uh, the tables here if he's able to use this to good effect get one down make it a 3v3 back to level even terms as we see Rhino he's just gonna jump across bacon and egg sees one Rhino also gonna get some tags on one the kill is gonna go out bacon Gets taken down early as Bryce is going to take down Carbon as well. But the bomb has been planted. So Rhino and Shibe should be able to just defend this one out. But Rhino has had to back off the bomb hugely as he tries to contest across. Shibe has to push around. Sees a player on the bomb. Misses the shot there as he does. As now Bryce is trying to push. Nero is just sitting around that bomb. Going to try and go for this defuse while Bryce contests up. Bryce gets the kill and Nero is going to finish off that defuse. And a 3-0 here. A dominant performance so far. Maintain your momentum in the next round. Switching operation ready point. So 3 0 now is the scores, and uh, I'm going to be interested to see how these teams are going to play it out in the next couple of rounds. It's the uh, team with only three players that have three rounds to zero. They uh, they did have their last fourth player lag out just before the start of the last round. Gunzel's able to pick up the first kill there on a shot. And Carbon also going down there. Nero too strong with that Vesper at the moment. Just dominating as Bacon is trying to get in there. Rhino is trying to get on the flank as well. Just checking all of his corners at this stage. Bacon's able to pick up one. So make it a 2v2 here at this stage of the game. Bacon's able to get out of there. Just jumping up very, very high. Getting away from that nade. Rhino is going to look around. Could have gone underneath the tree to try and get a little bit more cover. Probably should have pushed at the same time that Bacon did. Bacon pushed on his own, got taken down. It's going to make it difficult for Rhino. He has to pick up this kill quickly. Does get taken down. Should be pushing out towards the right. He decided to go out in the open. And that's not where you need to go. If he pushed around towards the right, got that little flank on this player on the head glitch. Even if this player was pre-aiming it, it's a player wall running versus a player out in the open rather than just jumping in the open versus a head glitch. They're never going to win that fight. And a 4-0 is going to be the result of that one. Defend the objectives. So we'll see what Nero can do. He has a HDXD, so we're going to jump on board with him for now, and then we'll swap over to the attacking team. Once this one is done, he sees a couple, does get shot, but he knows exactly where they're going to go, so would have called that out to his teammates as a shock charge go does go down, I believe, from Carbon throwing that one out he's just going to put that one just inside so for play can test rhino from the front he will be able to pick up that kill very very easily but it doesn't seem like this team wants to do much as guns or liam completely misses that player and gets dropped bryce is he going to poke around this corner will be able to find one the shock charge comes out going to get contested and carbon's going to pick up that one nicely done there with the shock charge nero trying to contest up does go down rejack is available but he's going to get shut down anyway in the first round for the team of s d gods finally they get a round on the board As Bacon and Eggs is going to uh, drop away from that one, deciding not to use the rejack in the end there. So just waiting for the uh, next round to load in. And I want to see what Bryce is going to do. He's 6-1. and one. He died that round, but he does have a dart as well as a county UAV ready to go. Is he going to uh, look for some kills with that, or is he going to wait for his team to get this bomb down first? As he's just checking in the tunnel. Not going to be able to find too much there. Nero's going to contest in. Take down Rhino. They're going to get straight onto this bomb, get the plant down. And it will be interesting to see whether they use that county UAV now. But Bryce able to take down Shibe. They've got two players versus three here at the moment as Bryce just needs to be careful. There's a player to his right. Does he see him? He doesn't. Gets taken down. And Nero just waiting here around the bomb. 
Liam just sitting up top, looking around through that window, just seeing if there's any players that are going to cross. Does see one in the water, knows where they're coming from now. So Nero should be able to watch out for that. The player on the head glitch, though, gets the kill. Now, guns or Liam, can he flank this one and get a couple of kills? Sees two players there, killed the player on the bomb. Will he be able to get the defuse? It looks like Carbon is going to be able to get that one and get the defuse down as it will be a 4-2 lead still to the team of Ronald McDonald, but two rounds in a row here for the s and gods. Trying to live up to their name. They need to step up and win this game if they want to do that. And Gunzel Liam probably doing the right thing there, trying to take the player off the bomb to make sure the defuse didn't go down too quickly. If he... Uh, it was just that extra second later, I don't think that Carbon would have been able to get there and get the defuse. So definitely uh, definitely the correct decision there. Bacon and Eggs actually has a RC, or HCXD, sorry. Let's see what he can do with it. He's working his way across towards B with it. Just going to jump across towards mid. Is he going to jump in the window? Doesn't look like it. He's just going to go downstairs and work his way up that way. There's a player there and he misses and he's actually going to kill his teammate there with that one carbon getting taken down. Bryce is going to be able to hit his score streak there by using the dart to good effect. Also counter UAV. He's also got vision pulse ready. And an overdrive is available for Guns of Liam. So this is pretty big for his team. He's just looking around, trying to find that player that he uh, lost sight of. As he will see him in the corner there, gets taken down. That was bacon and eggs. But now it's going to be Shy versus Nero in a 1v1 situation. Bomb is down on the bomb. Let's see what Shy is going to be able to do. Picks it up, going to go for this plant. Nero working his way across to Woods B. Is he going to see the feed if he checks around the corner? Doesn't at this stage. Probably could have sat in that head glitch a little bit longer. To just check if that player was going to push through into the building. Decided not to. He's going to push all the way around. Now he doesn't know where Scheib is. And that is important here in this clutch situation. Nero, but the bomb is planted on the wrong side. The shock charge doing the job there for Scheib as he picks up the kill there on Nero. And 3-4 becomes the score. Three rounds in a row now for the S&D gods. Picking up their game and that shock charge does... A whole heap of work. Nero, not sure why he was jumping. Probably could have just crouched behind the bomb and wait for that shock charge to uh, wear off a little bit, but didn't seem like the case. He wanted to try and still go for those shots. Wasn't able to get them in. And Michael, 31. I'm not sure whether that's a uh, player here in this game, but... We'll find out. Looks like he is the sub for the team of Ronald McDonald. So they've subbed him in Mimbap. That's fine. As they need four players to uh, try and make sure that they get this one. One. They do have the shots going out from Michael as he's picked up the VMP and grip. He's got a purifier as well. So could be doing work for him. But all this momentum is with the other team. And sh uh, this is Guns of Liam on your screen. You did pick up Shibe there. And he's in a 1v2. Shock charge does get the best of one player. Two players actually behind the bomb there. He needs to try and rotate around. He can't afford to contest on the head glitch. We'll be able to find one. There's another player there. Slides away. Will he get away? The shock charge getting exploded. Can he get the turn? The player ran out of bullets, but Rhino gets the kill. And Rhino will not be able to defuse that, actually. Just realised that all he needed to do was just save the time there, Guns of Liam. He did that beautifully well. And he just wasted as much time as possible. And as we see, that's not what we want to see. I see that kill cam. And Guns of Liam picking up that kill. So we'll see uh, a player actually use an overdrive. I believe that was what I heard. I heard something there go off anyway as uh, Nero does have his rejack available. Nade going to go out up the top. Knows there's players coming in to contest as shots go out. Bacon Egg's going to take down Mike Cool. And we'll see whether Nero can 
pick up this kill. There will be a player sitting on the right, sitting on the bomb. Is he going to be able to poke out? Sees the player. Rejack is going to come into play. Should be able to get away and does. As uh, Gunzel Liam is actually right on the flank. Does he see the player in the water? He does, but doesn't get the kill. Rhino is going to be able to shut that one down. Uh, as Nero now working his way around the map, will be able to find one kill there. As uh, he's got to pick up these kills quickly. Bryce also got to go with him and work their way onto this bomb site. Sees one in mid. Would have called that out to Nero. Nero has to get this one. Uh, as he's working his way underwater, we'll be able to find Rhino now as they both contest from the same way. Shots go out. Bryce wasn't able to pick up the kill. Nero finds one. Is he going to be able to find the second one? And he doesn't. He goes down. The shock charge too strong. And Carbon was able to pick that kill up. And even if Carbon did go down, there was no way that that defuse was going to get. Uh, picked up carbon just wasting that little extra bit of time that he needed to and uh, picked up that kill Switching sides. clear the objective so getting into this next round we'll jump on the attacking team and I might jump on board with this sub that's just joined in the last couple of rounds, Mike Cool 31 hasn't got a kill as of yet. Gunzel Liam, though, picks up the first one for his team here in this very important round. If they get the round, they win the map. They go 2-0 two up, two up in the series. If they lose, it goes to a round 11 and a possible loss of the map to bring the series back to 1-1. One, one. It is 2-2 two, two in terms of scores. As shots go out, does get a kill, but will be able to go... does go down to Scheib as Bryce... Now working his way around mid, we'll be able to find Bacon and gets the kill, 6-4. And the team of Ronald McDonald pick up their second victory of the series. One more and they'll be uh, going on into the losers bracket final against Small Stills. Smash Stills? We'll go with Smash Stills. I believe... Uh, Passels will be in that team. I'm not 100% sure who else. I'll have to just check that one for you guys. As we will jump into teams. And have a look. It will be Tico, Pastel, Snopey, Sway and Smiley. We'll be waiting there in the losers bracket final. It will be McDonald that are in the box seat to go on to uh, get into that final. But for now, guys, we will go to a quick break before the uplink between these two teams. So don't go anywhere because this could be the final map of Losers Bracket Round 4 before we get into the finals of this Does Play 4v4 Pro Series 5 times XP final here in the Summer Series. It is the Season 1 final in the Summer Series, and we will be back with more action right after this break. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we're straight back into it and we have uh, the uplink on fringe and we're going to see the ARs be aggressively uh, banned out there or 
push straight away onto the ARs in the ban and protects a ban on the M8, a protect on the Man of War, so it's the first time we'll see it in this series. A uh, Vespa being protected as well, but rapid fire being taken out to make sure no one's able to use that rapid fire Vespa and just dominate in close, which is something that can happen very, very well. High caliber also being taken away and overdrive, making sure no one's going to be able to just charge through the middle of the map and pick up those easy uh, easy captures. Kinetic armor also banned away. Don't want people using that armor of the uplink ball as well as uh, as well as the kinetic armor together to make sure that they basically cannot die while pushing towards that uh, that uplink portal. Also, shock charges being taken out. We saw them used to great effect there in the search and destroy by both teams. So, it's um, no surprise that one of the teams probably wants them taken away. I wasn't sure who exactly did that, but we will uh, we will have to find out when we get into the game. So as we see, uh, as we see the specialists come in, we've got active camo on both teams. Annihilator over on the side of the S and D gods. For the other team, we've got Psychosis, Tempest, and Scythe. Psychosis and Tempest, both uh, both unique to that team, where we've got the Annihilator and the Purifier over on the other side. Scythe for both teams. That AR player Rhino and Gunzel Liam will both be uh, trying to use that to their best advantage sitting up on either side of the map trying to control that middle part of the map and the reset point of the uplink ball we'll see how the rest of the players are going to work their way around the map just editing their creative classes up at the moment active camo will come into play with players uh maybe just trying to grab the ball out of mid while they're under fire from uh from the other team's assault rifle player we will allow players to get in and out without being seen and then they can work their way towards the uplink portal with the rest of their team. Psychosis also possibly being used while the uplink ball is in the hands of the player. Just using Psychosis early, then pushing out. They don't know which one to shoot at. The player able to jump through the uplink portal very, very easily there for that one. So when we get into the game, Fringe Uplink will see how these players are going to play it out. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm not too sure really what to expect, to be honest. I'm thinking that the team of Ronald McDonald is going to be that little bit too strong. S&D gods, they call S&D gods, they weren't even able to take down the S&D, losing that one in a 4-6. So um, I'd love to have faith in the team, but unfortunately it just doesn't seem likely at this stage. Well, we will have to find out though as we'll uh, jump on board with Nero and see what he can do early on in this one as he's trying to push out towards this courtyard, trying to find these kills. Bryce able to take down Shibe, cool. able to take down Rhino, and they should be able to get this uplink ball out of there pretty early. Guns or Liam just going to go for the throw. Pass across towards Mike Cool as he tried to go for the throw. Missed that one as Guns or Liam working his way across. And that reset may come out. The Shiva is in fact in the hands of Guns or Liam at the moment. He's going to try and chase. He is behind a couple of players. Is he going to be able to find that kill? We'll be able to find one. Looks for the second one. We'll be able to pick up that kill as well. Working his way across towards the other team's platform here. 
as Bryce is actually going to go for this pass. No, he's going to have to just dodge away as Nero does get taken down. Is he going to try and throw it inside the building? Didn't quite as Guns or Liam was in there ready for the ball to be uh, picked up. Is he going to be able to find that kill? Does so. Picks up Carbon. And now he's going to be able to try and control these spawns of the other team as he does take down Bacon and Eggs as well. There's a player on the roof right in front of him. Didn't see him as he comes out. There's a player behind him as well. But his teammates just cleaning up left, right and centre. Carbon trying to stop these captures from going through as there's players all around him as Michael is going to be able to pick up one kill. Sorry, Carbon's able to pick up one kill before going down. There to Nero. Rhino looking for these kills as one point does go through for the team of Ronald McDonald at this stage. Age. Our team has the satellite. So Guns and Liam looking over the top, does get dropped there and taken down. Now we're going to see Michael pushing around this side. And he will be able to put that one through nicely as he takes down the uh, the kill. There for that one, Guns and Liam looking very long and getting the kills in the end there with that Shiva. So Kosas is available here for Bryce. Nero is the one with the uplink ball. Going to push out. Get that kill nicely on Carbon. Just throw that one away. Reset the armor. Has kinetic armor as well. Uh, sorry, that's an active camo. Ready for himself as well as teammates are pushing through mid. Sorry, that was an enemy. As he decided to ignore him to try and get away. Wasn't able to do so. Bryce just putting some shots out. Guns to Liam trying to find the kills. Uh, as Gunzel does take down one, Michael able to take down Rhino and they're uh, able to pick up a couple of kills. Now Gunzel just pushing out quite a lot, trying to force these players back in towards their spawn as Nero is working his way across to try and find a couple. But Bryce is there using that psychosis to good effect to get that capture as he worked his way through the building and able to pick up that capture. Now 4-0 to zero as the throw goes up outside and... Guns of Liam just waiting here, waiting to try and pick up the kill. Sees one there. We'll be able to find one. Just has to duck back inside before contesting back out. There's two players there. He will get dropped finally after going 9 and 4. He's just been in the other team's spawn the entire time, forcing that team to spawn away from the middle of the map and not really be able to get any control of the ball at all. At this stage of the game, Michael is there. Player slides past him, misses a lot of shots as he tries to pre-fire the corner, but will get taken away by giving away his position. Bryce is able to pick up one, finds the second one, and looking for the third, does get taken down. And the points actually do go through for the S&T gods, able to pick up a kill. Uh, a point there, sorry, as Nero now trying to push through mid. Can he get around the corner? As it looks like he's going to use that active camo to good effect and get some points through here. Another two points for his team. So we'll see Carbon just set up at the back of his spawn at the moment, really. Just trying to survive here on this one. Ball has been thrown up towards Bacon as he's waiting to try and pick up these kills. Knows, there's, knows that there's going to be players either to his left or in this elbow here as he will be, not be able to find that kill in the end. Did actually go down. And he also drops. So Nero actually does get picked up with a shock charge. Or it might have been an EMP grenade as he's trying to push through. I believe shock charges have him banned. So would have been an EMP. He tries to push through. 30 seconds left. He goes down. But there's teammates all around him to try and pick this one up. And Bryce is actually going to use Psychosis yet again to get even more points. 8-1 to one is the score. And it's a big margin here at the moment. As we'll see... Michael trying to work his way around, does get taken down. Nero able to pick up one and get dropped. Bryce is in the middle with that Shiva trying to pick up some kills, missing a few shots, going, getting taken down, but I believe that will be it for the score. 8-1. And a big lead here for the team of Ronald McDonald as the S&T gods just not quite being able to keep up with them at the moment, but... We will see the teams swap sides in the next half and be interested to see whether they can uh, step up and get something going here with that one. Take the satellite drone to the uplink station.
So we'll see bacon and eggs find that first kill along with carbon's nade. So they're now going to have control of this side of the map at the moment. Want to jump on board with Rhino. He did have the uplink ball and he is able to get a throw out and get first points on the board for the half. But a four down goes down. And now it is going to be the team of Ronald McDonald to try and push this one up. Gunsel Liam does have the scythe available to him. No other player has their specialist on his team. Oh, he didn't quite get in that window, but the player didn't hear him. So he's going to be able to set up here with the Shiva. Will he get that scythe out just yet? There are players setting up to try and make this push here. Rhino trying to push out. Did get taken down along with Carlin and Shibe. They all go down there on that one. As they all try to push through the same door, and when there's a couple of guns pointed at it, that's not what you want to do. The bacon and eggs, 17 and 12, doing a good job for his team, but the rest of his team just struggling a bit. 8 and 17, 9 and 15, 10 and 14. Just not stepping up here at the moment. Man of War is doing some work here, I believe. Rapid Fire is, uh, is on that one. Let's have a look. Uh, as it says reflex and customize, so it does have quite a few attachments on it. Looks like it's shooting a little bit faster than usual. We'll pick it. Bring out the scythe though. Let's see what he can do with it. Is he he's gonna push around the corner, find one there. Nero is the unfortunate one to get taken down by the scythe early on as he's gonna have to try and turn on this player here. We'll be able to take down Bryce. Finds another one there as he's just gonna try and go on a tear here and bring his team back into the game. We'll be able to find yet another kill there on Nero as they try and push up. The Guardian is available. We'll be able to pick up Guns of Liam as well. So going huge there was Rhino as he's still trying to pick up kills there as he has a Sentry and a Guardian available to him. Was only 25 points off the Cerebus. But wasn't able to uh, collect that score streak as well. 9-6 is now the score. And we'll see what he's going to be able to do setting up those, uh, those score streaks. He's going to try and use the Guardian to watch the side entrance of the top while the guard, uh, while the sentry is sitting up the top just watching mid, just cleaning up the players left, right and centre. But they're going to try and push on this right side. Nero does pick up a kill. Bacon and eggs now is it going to try and push around the side does see one up top you will be able to find one there's a second one there didn't quite connect with that one shots go out does go down though as he gets taken down as the guardian was taken down i'm not sure about the uh the sentry but carbon does have the purifier available are they able to stop that play yes they are two minutes still left in this one only three minutes between uh, three points between the two teams, so still plenty of time to get that score. Only one, dun uh, two dunks will get them in front. One dunk and a throw will get them back in to uh, a even game here for this one. And it looks like a dunk's going to go through straight away. Carvin's going to pick that one up, get a double kill, and allow his team to push up the map yet again as he. We see Shibe. He's actually just going to go for the throw to make sure that they get back into it, but misses that throw. Goes a long way past. And the other team's going to be able to clean that one up. And Michael actually uh, just throwing that one. Tried to throw it out anyway. Wasn't able to miss. Wasn't able to uh, do that straight away. But still, we'll see how both teams are going to go with that one. Throw goes out. Misses yet again over the top. Just feel like they could have been going for those two pointers yet again, trying to set up for them a little bit better. And uh, Guns of Liam looks like he's just going to go and uh, reset this one as well. Maybe not actually. He, he's looking to try and push through, but the uh, the purifier burning him, but not killing him there. Bryce able to take down Carbon just in the nick of time. Liam's going to go down though, as Scheib is there to protect protect the uh, the satellite drone there as Bryce is trying to chase and uh, not sure who that is with the satellite ball actually it's gonna be carbon he's gonna pass it across towards Rhino Rhino is going to be able to get away there's gonna be a player sitting right around this corner doesn't see him shot in the back a lot as Scheib is there gonna try and pick up this kill does so and grabs this uplink ball is he gonna be able to push through there's gonna be one waiting right around the corner is he gonna be able to slide past doesn't seem like he is and it looks like the reset should should come out. Doesn't seem like it is, as Bryce is actually going to try and push this one straight through mid, just get some points on the board and confirm this one. But there's already 12 seconds left on the clock. That is it for this game. And it's, he's actually going to go for some points as well. An extra two points on the board, making it a three-point game in the end. 11-8 to eight and a 3-0 win for the team of Ronald McDonald. They played it extremely well.
and we'll see Michael, the substitute that came in halfway through the search and destroy, able to pick up that final kill. Black Ops at work. It's a beautiful thing. So that is going to be the end of this series. We're going to go into the losers bracket final. Ronald McDonald advancing to play against Smash Stills. It's going to be uh, Tico, Pastels, Snopey, and Just Sway. So, interesting to see how these teams are going to match up with each other. I don't believe they've played yet today. No, they were on opposite sides of the bracket. So, we'll see how they are going to go with this one. We'll, uh, we'll get into that series as quickly as possible, guys. But don't go anywhere because we will have that loser's bracket final coming up right after the break.